Hey guys, it's Ticketbyte here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to import save games into Simu. It's a pretty quick and easy process, so without further ado, let's get right into this. For this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this with downloaded save games, but it's a very similar method if you're importing saves from your own Wii U. So to start off, you're going to want to head to this link, which I'll leave in the description. Once you're here, you can look for whatever game you want to import a save for. In my case, I'm going to download two saves, one for Mario Kart 8 and one for Super Mario 3D World, just to show you how the process slightly differs depending on what game you use. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different games here, but I'm going to scroll down to M for Mario Kart 8. So click on the link and it will take you to a download site. And once you're here, you can just click download. And once that loads, you can save it wherever you'd like. So along with that, we're going to go back here and we're going to go to S for Super Mario 3D World, click show. And this one says 100% complete, so we're going to go with this one. Once again, click download. And you can save that wherever you'd like. Now once you have the save games downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go to where you have them saved. So in my case, I have it in this downloads folder. And you just want to open up the archive and leave it minimized for now. And once you do that, you can load up Simu, go to File, go to Load, and load up the game you have your save game for. So in my case, Mario Kart 8, I'm gonna double click that. And then once it starts loading, you can close it out and you wanna open up the log. And once you're here, you're gonna be looking for this line, Save Directory and Shader Cache Name. Now in my case, that's 019BE15C, but it will differ depending on what game you're using, the region, and a couple other factors. But once you find this, you're just gonna wanna remember it, and then you can close out of the log, go to MLC01, emulator save, and then find the folder with the same name. So as you can see right here, 019BE15C. I'm gonna open that, and then you wanna go back to the archive and open it up, and you wanna get to the point where you see the same files in here as you do in the archive. So if I load up common, as you can see, these files aren't matching up. But if you go to 8000001, these files match up a lot better. Now they might not still be a perfect match, but what you're looking for is pretty much similarity. Now once you're here, you can press Control A to select all the files, drag them in, and then we'll ask if you want to replace the files, and you can say yes. Now as you can see, some files got replaced and some stayed, but that doesn't really matter. All you have to do now is load up Simu, load up your game, and once it finishes loading, you should notice that you have an entirely different save game than what you had before. Now as you can see, once I load in, if we go to single player, all of the trophies are unlocked for every single cup. Along with that, if I load it up, all the characters are unlocked as well. And if I go even farther into it, the gold cart is unlocked, the gold wheels, the gold glider, and all the courses as well. Just to show you another example, we're going to be doing the same thing, but this time for Super Mario 3D World. So I'll go to Downloads, open this up, and just leave it minimized, and then go back to Simu, launch it, and then load up the game you got your save for. So let's find Super Mario 3D World. And then once it starts loading, you can just close it out, go to log, and then this time it's a different name. It's BA3B92B5. So we're gonna remember that. MLC01, emulator save. And then let's find that in here. And right down here, BA3B92B5 open it up, and then go to the archive, open it, and then look for the folder that has gamedata.bin. That one has it, this one doesn't. So we're going to drag that on top of the old file, replace the file, launch Simu, and then once it finishes loading, we should have a 100% save game. Now as you can see, once I load in, I'm playing as Rosalina, who's a very late game unlock, and if I go to the map, all the locations are unlocked as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please show your support by leaving a like, and consider subscribing as well. 
If you guys have any questions or issues, please let me know below and I'll try to reply to everyone as soon as I can. New content is coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!